Google promised one week ago that today, December 13th, we would have access to Gemini Pro. They totally kept their promise. It's here, it's time to play. Let me show you a few things that I'm super excited about, especially the price. I really think this opens it up for lots of people to play around. Okay, we'll start here at the blog post today from uh, Sundar. Today, developers can start building with our first version of Gemini Pro through the Google API Studio. Developers have a free quota. Woohoo! I am really cheap, so this makes me super happy and excited. I really love how they opened up with this. This is huge. It's a big deal to justify paying for a subscription, so I love that they opened this up for free for everyone to use. So developers have access to a full range of features, including function calling, embedding, semantic retrieval, custom knowledge grounding, chat functionality, and more. It supports 38 languages across 180 plus countries. Gemini Ultra, now we don't have that yet. That's coming next year, it looks like. Let's now jump to the main blog post. As he says here, today we're making Gemini Pro available for developers. The first version of Gemini Pro is now accessible in the Gemini API. And let's look at these details. So Gemini Pro outperforms other other similarly sized models on research benchmarks. Today's versions comes with 32K context window for text. So it's free to use right now, uh, you know, obviously within limits. And then if you want to go past those limits, it is competitively priced. In today's release, Gemini Pro accepts text as input and generates text as output. They've also made a dedicated Gemini Pro Vision endpoint to be available today. It accepts text and imagery. And that's what I'm going to show you in the Google AI Studio. SDKs are available for Gemini Pro to help you build apps anywhere. Uh, Python, Android, Node.js, Swift, and JavaScript. It says Google AI Studio is the fastest way to build on Gemini. It's free, it's web-based developer tool, quickly develop prompts, get an API key to actually use in your development app. All you need is a Google account, you can sign right in. So here are actually the prices. So you get 60 QPM, so 60 queries per minute, one query per second. Price on input is free, price on output is free. So it says you can also build on Vertex AI on the Google Cloud. You basically take take your, your proof of concept, your, your POC from Google AI Studio into the cloud. This allows for customization of Gemini with full data control, benefits from additional Google Cloud features. Your data and IP are always your data and IP. Here is the quick start guide uh, with Python. They go through what to pip install, how to get your API key, listing models, generating text inputs. I haven't played with this yet, just released today. If you'd like to see some examples, please let me know. What I have played with is the Google AI Studio, really easy and fun to play with and free. If you played with ChatGPT, this is a little bit different here. So when you create your prompt, it's all about, it's kind of like your project is your prompt. My goal here was to take screenshots from, from a movie of my choice and ask it some questions to see if it could figure out what was happening. So let's do our first prompt here. So here's our prompt demo. We want to, I'm going to feed it images. We need to drop into Gemini Pro Vision. Let's actually fix the temperature down to zero. And now let's upload a couple of images. If you're familiar with this movie, this is Napoleon Dynamite right at the scene where uh, Uncle Rico is going to take the steak from Kip and throw it at Napoleon, hit him in the face with it. So let's see what it does. Let's see if it can recognize the movie. Okay, it recognized the movie. So this movie is called Napoleon Dynamite. Let's give it another question. What is this scene about? This scene is about Napoleon Dynamite and his friend Pedro. They're sitting on the step. Okay, that, that's not right. This is actually Napoleon's brother, Kip, and Uncle Rico. So that is not correct. Let's send it two more pictures. Okay, this is, he's got the stake in his hand. And then here is the stake flying there into Napoleon's face. So now we're gonna ask it, if you combine these four images, what's happening? It says in the first image, Napoleon is trying to convince Pedro to go to the dance with him. The second image, Napoleon is throwing a steak at Pedro. Third image, Napoleon is riding a bike with Pedro on the back. And the fourth image, Napoleon... Okay, I guess it did explain what was happening in each of the pictures. It kind of got this wrong. But anyway, uh, kind of a fun example to see if it could determine the steak being thrown in his face. One thing that was neat here is that you can actually save it. Save your prompt, prompt demo, and you can come over here. It'll be in your library. This get code feature is really neat. So click get code, Python, and then it takes you, it actually gives you the Python code, apparently, of what you just did here in the Google AI Studio. Put this in your Python code to actually execute on the API. Really amazing feature right here. I can't wait to try this out. If you'd like to see more examples in the Google AI Studio and the prompt gallery and such, please let me know. I hope you're as excited as I am to play around with the Google AI Studio. That really opens this up for a lot of people to play with. If you enjoyed the video today, please consider a like and subscribe. Thank you. Until next time.